Okay, you guys, when I say I'm a sidewalk shopper, I mean it in every sense of the word. So I have about, I'd say 100 days until I move. That's like roughly three months and some change. And I'm supposed to be decluttering and getting ready to go. But I saw, you know, I live, you guys know I'm a military fan. I live on a military base. This is um, PCS season. Everybody's getting ready. Summertime's coming. So, um... Uh, someone put something out on their uh, porch and it just said free and I don't look past anything that's free I'll check it out if it works if I like it so I want to show you guys what I just loaded into the back of my truck um, and this will be in a, a DIY I will be refurbishing soon this is the back of it and she had it up there completely for free a lot of um, military families just like honestly like I mean not to be wasteful but we have to go and we have to go fast so we toss things so let me show you guys Ugh. I'm so freaking excited about this DIY I will be sanding it I will be refurbishing it I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it white because that's just like the color of the rest of the furniture in my home but you guys this is what I loaded into my truck can you get a good glimpse on the back I'm going to turn this camera around for you. Okay, so this is what it is in the back of my truck, you guys. It was on the curb for free. It works. And the sliding doors are a little um, iffy. But I can just tighten up the bar here and then it will go smoothly. You guys, free 99 <laughs> Okay guys, let's get started with the supplies. This is Valspar Chalky Finish Paint as well as the Sealing Wax. I got them both from my local Lowe's and I will put a link in the description box for the prices. Now starting out, what you should do is tape off all of the areas that you don't want painted, of course. I taped the top edge because I do want it to be two-toned. And I did tape the metal bar because I don't want that piece to be white. I want it to be black. I left all the hardware the black color. And just as a reminder, it would be a great idea to take all your hardware and put it in just one spot. So when this process is all completed, you can know where to get everything and to put it back together. <laughs> and i just wanted to inject in here very quickly also you all when you're painting take off your jewelry i got a chunk of paint in my wedding band and in my wedding ring and i was so sad for like a whole 30 seconds when it wasn't coming out cleanly i got a soft toothbrush and i got it out in between all of the little intricate spaces but Take your jewelry off, ladies, so you don't have to go through the panic that I did. to 
be up, still be up. Don't care about the place we found. We'll still be up, still be up. We're in this together. We both fall down. Doesn't matter if the sun goes up. Cause we will still be high when the lights out. Hey guys, so it's uh, day number two and it's the evening and I got quite a bit um, done since yesterday. Um, I think I just did the, um, what do you call it, the first coat on the shelves as well as the door. So um, I'm just gonna show you how far I got and what is left to do. So as you all can see on the left side, I have painted everything and given it a second coat. The right side still needs a second coat and all of the shelves and the doors are complete. I don't know what it is about painting, but for me, it's so therapeutic. And while I paint, I can tune everything out around me. And I mean it literally. As I am doing this, I know for a fact my kids were arguing over the TV and harassing my husband for snacks. And I did not move. I did not rescue him. I just lost myself in the paint stroke. So now it is time for me to go in with my wax. I'm just using this small brush, which honestly you should be using something a lot thicker with more dense bristles. But as I've said before, I've done a million DIYs and I know how to hack things, but I don't recommend it. If you're a first timer, please get all the professional products. So the wax is a very thin consistency. Honestly, it reminds me of like Crisco or something of that nature. And you take a very thin amount and you go in the same direction of your brush strokes on whatever piece of furniture you have painted. And then you can go, I would say maximum 10 seconds later and just rub off the excess and try to rub the wax into the paint. It's not really a coat of anything. You're just trying to make sure that the paint sets and doesn't scratch. Now you guys know I always like to show you my mistakes so you don't make the same one. When you don't put enough coats of chalk paint on, you'll get this pinky type of color when you put the wax on. What it's doing is bringing up the original color through the paint, so please be mindful of that. Also, if you don't take your wax off in time, you'll get this yellowy film. You see this is white here and yellow there. So be mindful to wipe the wax in and the excess off so this discoloration doesn't happen. Now you guys, this is my favorite part. Taking the paint off of whatever project I'm doing, it's just a sign of completion. And I just love seeing how all the looks came together. I absolutely love this part. So here we are at the end of my video. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me. 
I definitely had a time crunch trying to finish this project. My movers should be here within a few weeks. I am definitely excited to take this new piece of furniture with me and I will see y'all in Texas. Bye.